In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transform HDP plastic waste into those stunning looking hexagonal drink coasters. It can be done by anyone, so if you want to know more details on how to do it, I encourage you to visit an amazing preciousplastic.com. But without further ado, let's get started. I begin by turning on the filter fan and the injection machine to heat it up. The injection machine was invented and designed by Precious Plastic and the blueprints are available online on their website open sourced for free. So we have built our own and it serves very well as you will see further in this video. I make the coasters using previously prepared milk jugs and bottle lids. Bottles were pre-cut in the way that I can roll them and squeeze inside the injection barrel. But lids are small enough to slide them straight inside. So I just keep filling the barrel of the injection with the plastic waste until it's full and because of the temperature it will melt inside quite quickly. By the way, all the plastic that I recycle was collected from coffee shops and local community. You can check out our collection points in Edinburgh on our website, link is in the description below. While plastic is slowly melting, I pulled them all together using the bicycle quick release covers. Uh, I align the parts and then close it up tightly. If you take a closer look, you can see the plastic washers. Those are leftovers that came after each injection. After that, I check the injection situation. Uh, when the plastic is nice and fluid, we can screw the mold on the nozzle. To inject the coaster, I help move my whole body weight on the lever for around 15 seconds. I stop when I hear that noise or I see plastic escaping the mold. It's okay, it happens pretty much most of the time. After opening the mold, I don't remove the coaster yet. I turn it around and put on a flat surface and then add some bricks on top. This prevents coasters from bending due to material shrinkage. And this is the result. Recycled plastic can look like marble sometimes like a real abstract piece of art, but every time unexpectedly surprising. After making a couple of them, it's time to finish them up. For that purpose, I use the exacto knife and a single blade. All of the offcuts will be saved in that container to be recycled again. I start with cutting the nipples from the coasters that are really called spews, but I'm not sure. This technique is not the best, but I did not come up with anything better. Then I just simply go along the edges of the hexagonals and get rid of the overflow around. Moving on, when at least four coasters are nicely done, I wrap them in the package made entirely from recycled paper. Seriously, I cut it by hand from bulk food bags, appreciate it. I put one sheet in the middle of my packaging contraption and then I slide the coasters in. After a few adjustments, I stick pieces of cellulose adhesive tape by the end of its stripe and then I can finally seal it as straight as I can, one by one. And here we go, it's ready to be placed on our shop shelf. As you can see, plastic recycling is pretty easy, to that point that we have started our small recycling workshop. This is my first video of that kind, so I hope you enjoyed this process and it brings you motivation to start recycling. You can donate your plastic waste to us or to the nearest precious plastic collection point. Check the links in the description below. If you would like to support what we are doing, 
head over to our online store and grab a set of courses for yourself like this one. Thanks everyone for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Take care, stay safe and go recycling. Cheers!